Terve ja hyvää päivää. This is Mika Tokola. We're going to be playing some Blockbuster, which is level 89 of Chips Challenge in Lynx mode. Now, I already uploaded some solutions to this level, and then afterwards I realized that, oh no, those weren't the best ones I had. So I apologize, but now I'm going to re record this level again and then append the other levels that I recorded into the same video. So hopefully that will work. Um. So what is this level? It's Blockbuster, and it has a really complex, uh, fastest solution. Now, the trick is getting this green key. In MS, you can get a block stuck on this ice tile here by using slide delay. When you push the block onto the ice, it pauses for a moment, and, and another block can arrive on this tile, and then the block is stuck on this tile, and Chip can reach the green key from below. Now in Lynx you have to do it a little differently. You have to use block slapping. Walking down here and you block slap a block here just as another block comes and gets on this tile. Um, and that way you can reach the green key a little quicker. Now previously what I did wrong in this solution, actually the solution that's here is that um, here I pushed this block right there and you can see some links block echo there and um, and then here I spent too much time getting the next block here. In MS what you can do is you get two of the blocks bouncing like this and then you just time it right so oh. Uh, but in Lynx, it's really hard to get get it right. So I had an Id idea of not doing it exactly like that. But mm, let's see if you can get a different pattern for the bouncing blocks. Uh, but still, Chip is killed. So this was a different idea. Let's see if this... And what if we had these two blocks here? And now... We could use block slapping to get this first block here. <laughs> In theory, we can use block slapping there. And, um, and this also avoids the Lynx block echo of following a block. Oh, this isn't easy still. No. Ouch. Anyway, it might be possible um, to get a quicker time like that, because you don't have to walk back and forth as much. But of course, <laughs> sometimes the simplest ideas are overlooked, and I'll show you um, another method I just came up with today when I was looking at this level again. So, first I just want to mention Link's Block Echo. What happens in Link's? Uh, when you're sliding right behind a block is that the block arrives on a tile that's not ice uh, and if chip is right behind it chip will push the block off the tile and the block would have moved at 10 moves per second speed and that's too quick so the program doesn't allow that and instead of chip pushing the block off the tile chip is forced to bounce back uh, on the ice like this and to avoid that sometimes you can use block slapping like I just did previously but in any case uh, this is a, a behavior that really doesn't exist in MS as such it's a little different in MS why block echo occurs anyway I'm gonna try and play through the level now let's see if I can get this to work there and get the second block from here. This is much faster than I had earlier. And then of course this part is tricky. Oh, well. well, I pressed the wrong thing there and actually you can see there are two blocks bouncing here. Ideally you would have just one, uh, but even two is fine because actually this 
button right here that's under the block has been pressed a total of five times. One of the blocks has been used up at the top for some water and one of the blocks has been denied from cloning because of the timing and another block was in the way. And we just get this timing right like this. Of course I spent a lot of time there so I'm gonna restart. Here we go again. Oh, wrong timing there. Let's get this cursor out of the way too. And try again. I hesitated there for a moment. I thought that I would bump into the splash, but I didn't. Hopefully, that won't matter. go. We should be okay. Let's see if we can just dodge all of these. Here we can run as quick as we can. And then on the other ones we do have to wait. Go chip go. This isn't as hard as it might look. Ouch! No! <laughs> yes, it's not as hard as it might look. <laughs> Let's try again. And then for the second block to get the red key before coming back down for more timing trickiness. Let's hope that's enough. <laughs> and let's also hope we won't kill ourselves on the supposedly easier parts of the level. Go. After I'm done with this level, I'll go back to the recording I already did on the other levels for this episode. Here we go, we should be fine. Woo! Hey, that's a new record. I thought I'd only get 377. But we got 378. Ah, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I must have done something a little differently earlier. Well, this was totally worth it. Good. Great. <laughs> and now, onward. Here we go. Yes. Oh, see, block slap. Much faster. And some... Uh, splash delay avoiding there. Uh, somehow, avoiding splash delay in links does bring a different element into optimizing this kind of levels where you push blocks into water. Like right there, we just spent two moves to avoid that last splash, and that does save. Uh, I think it's a full move. It's or half of it. It's it's a little uh, tricky to know for sure. I I I'll get into the details of that in another video, because the documentation, like for CCLP3, says it's three moves, like six tenths of a second, but it feels more like it's just half a second and a twentieth more. But never mind. <laughs> Thank you.
And here we go, collecting the chips. And why does this pink ball have to delay, and delay us? What? No uh, redundant block slap on that block? I like redundant block slaps. But good job anyway, Chip. We, and it's a more... Um, well, that's what the level said. <laughs> and Jumping Swarm. And you'll notice in Lynx only 16 walkers clone and making this a much easier level than in MS. Now, like back in the day when people were complaining about levels which ones were the hardest in the whole set, they would be saying Jumping Swarm is one of the hardest. Because in MS, if you take too much time, it really does become hard. Even though, theoretically, you can almost survive <laughs> the, like five, six minutes on this thing. And in links, at least, you can. Uh, I tried that today before starting this video, and this is what resulted. I got three seconds remaining, and then I exited, because all these uh, walkers were coming at me, and I, there was just no place to stay safe. And I'm sure that there is a way to solve this in even just zero seconds left on the clock in links, which is possible. In MS it's not. And in um, and slow mo is another level that might be hard to solve with very little time left on the clock. Anyway, let's get back to our next level, Vortex. Now I say this about every level, but this is an interesting level to optimize and to play. Um, the interesting bit about this was how to deal with this walker, because the uh, random seeds in links for the walkers are always, always the same, but you can influence them by how you allow them to move. If you have blocks that can push against them, or like in this level, uh, you open walls for them to move differently and and you can just uh, try all the different uh, approaches and to see which way the walker might give you the best uh, path. In MS of course you can just plan your path almost as if there were no walkers and then just try it 300,000 times until the walkers decide to agree with you that it's possible. And on to road sign. Hmm. It's been a while since I've played this in Lynx. However, only recently I played it in MS to get the bowl. And <laughs> so I have a different perspective on this level than the other ones, which I have usually played after the MS uh, solution. Okay, there's a small wait there between the button pushes to get the pink balls correctly trapped. You'll see in a moment. Ooh, block slap number one. Here we go. And all the pink balls. Amen. Chip. Two more chips left. How many blocks left? Oh, it's quicker to go this way. And this way. What, no block slapping? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> you, it's pretty rare, actually, that uh, uh, pushing just a single block, block slapping, actually helps because it, most of the time it's just like you save a back and forth movement and when pushing a single block uh, you don't usually have to do back and forth movements but like in that case right oh that was cool uh, you you can save some time because of the walls surrounding the blocks. And there we're 
avoiding the splash delay by clearing the dirt later. And surprisingly, there's only like five seconds between the uh, uh, bold route score, the best score on this level in Lynx and in MS. Because, uh, like, for me, it was surprising because the level does have quite a bit of boosting. And those are the things I really like comparing between MS and Lynx. Yeah. Uh, where the differences come from. Now you see it. This is untimed, but since I've <laughs> uh, cared enough to go and do it in like just over one and a half minutes, I'll let you guys see it. And then maybe no one else in the world has to bother. <laughs> Dead air. Dead air. Maybe I should have prepared something for this level. Um, it's really been nice to see people reporting uh, new, more scores for links in CC1. Uh, good job on all the confirms and new records. And even just normal solutions are interesting to see that people care enough about the game to go back and play these levels. Um, in Lynx. And uh, in my opinion, at least, there are enough differences between the rule sets to give the levels another go, even if you've played them in, in MS, because it's really fun to see how, uh, oh, these monsters don't die in the fire here, and um, oh, you have to, uh, you can't just rely on this controller and boss glitch here in this level. And stuff like that it does make it really interesting. And here we go, on to the next level. Oh, four square. Is it interesting? And again, the walkers always walk the same way. Good old reliable. Nice. Well, that was quick. Paranoia. This level has the only instance of needing to stop a moving tank uh, in this set. Of course, like CCLP3 has a bunch of these, but this is the only one in CC1. And it it's nice to have the fire boots. It's a little quicker, and the concept of not needing them is cool too. Uh, this level actually. Uh, the record was set by JB, and I did not find it for quite a while, and it was due to these pink balls. I I somehow mistimed something there, and I didn't get past them as quickly as it's possible. But now I did, as you can see, and I'm glad JB found the record. Hmm, here we go. Otherwise, the level is pretty much the same as in MS, with all the timing and stuff. So there's nothing really spectacularly new here. When we go up, and because of the fire boots, we collect these chips much faster. Redundant fire for the win. <laughs> Onward. Metastable to Chaos. I figured I don't have the record on this level, so I might as well try a few times to see if I can come up with something. Oh boy. It's pretty crazy. Chaos is definitely the right word for it. Ah, no, nothing. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit of a lag because I'm recording and playing at the same time. Ooh. Maybe if I take the block this way. Ouch. Mm -hmm. 
This would be a good level to have some music in the background. I'm pausing the game so I get a better understanding of what the bugs are about to do. Like, right there, I could see it would kill me. <laughs> So yeah, basically when you see something approaching, it might be a little bit too late, but... Let's wait here for a little while, see what happens. Ouch! Okay, that was a little different. Hmm, I wonder how many was. Let's try a little. And I think I did a bit. Okay, I see the opening forming. But how to avoid this bug and this one? There we go. <laughs> okay. That was nice. Perhaps I should try again. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was nice. And next time we'll be shrinking.